It's being called a failure of government. In fact, that's one of the more charitable ways we've heard it put. A water lead level so high, some of Flint's children may have long-term health damage because of it. But the governor has gotten involved and declared a state of emergency in Flint. But the crisis has long-ranging impact that goes well beyond that city. Let's bring in Mara McDonald. She is live in Flint tonight. Uh, Mara, what is happening there is raising a lot of questions about Michigan's Department of Environmental Quality and their ability to make decisions beyond Flint. And their credibility, Devin. I mean, really, late tonight you had multiple Detroit state senators who went on the record and said because of the fiasco here, is the MDEQ really capable of making decisions when it comes to, say, projects in the metro area, like an upcoming decision about the Marathon Refinery? I am pleased uh, because this is what we've been asking for. With this emergency declaration from the state, the cavalry is on the way. Newly elected Flint Mayor Karen Weaver says it's about time. This is what the city of Flint needs. This is what we deserve. We didn't deserve what happened to us. High lead levels in the water, courtesy of a cost-saving decision to disconnect from Detroit water and go with Flint River water that was not properly treated and a Michigan Department of Environmental Quality that was not paying close enough attention to complaints of smell and taste until Flint's medical community sounded the alarm. What's happened here isn't just a problem for Flint, but a credibility problem for Lansing. And now the feds are getting involved. And I know there's an investigation going on, and I'm glad about that. I'm not surprised that there's an investigation going on because we have to hold people accountable. So I'm, I'm waiting to see what, what comes out of that. Back here live, one of the benefits of having the governor declare a state of emergency here is that it now opens the potential for federal dollars to come in here uh, and try and help fix the mess, including, you know, not just infrastructure, but say, you know, long term health problems and critical care that these children who have been affected may need down the road. Devin Carmen, back to you. And Mara Flint is no longer using Flint River water. It's hooked up back to Detroit, but that the, the issues linger though to, uh, to keep the water still unsafe to drink. Exactly. The issues do still linger and you still have to use filters and you heard the mayor at the top of the show say she wouldn't drink it and here's why. Because just because they're now getting water that's correctly treated doesn't mean that there hasn't been significant damage done to the biofilm and the pipes and all the rest of it. I mean, we're looking at a situation where it is going to take months of consistent testing to make sure that what's flowing through here is okay and potable to drink. All right. And we certainly stay on top of it. Amara McDonald reporting for us live.